Os, konnichiwa minasan, and welcome to Oshita Karate, where we look deeper into Ishinru Karate. And in this video, we're going to play a game. But before we get started, I have two announcements I'd like to make. First, please go to udemy.com and check out my online courses. And there you can learn Ishinru Karate from me. In their search bar, just type Ishinru, or you can search John Osta, or you can type dissect the dissection of Ishinru, which is the course name. The second announcement I'd like to make is if you would like to learn Ishinru Karate from me live online, then please email me at Oshita Karate nc at gmail.com. That's Oshita Karate nc at gmail.com and schedule a class. And if you are already training in Ishinru, then you can still schedule a time with me and we can do some tutoring. And if you'd like to start from white belt at the beginning and start training, then please email me and we can schedule a time and get you started. Now that that's all out of the way, let's get to this game. Now, here are the two rules. The first rule is that I'm going to only do the movement once. The second rule is I'm going to do it slowly and then we're just going to move on. Now what is this technique? What is this movement that I'm talking about? It's the embusen. Now what is the embusen? The embusen is the footwork, the foot pattern of the kata, which is the forms that we do in uh, karate. And each one of those movements are self-defense movements. So I'm not going to do the uh, whole embusen, I'm just going to do a small part of the embusen and I'm going to see if you can guess which kata I'm doing and I'm going to do all eight kata. Now, in, as in any game, there is a reward and a what, a punishment, right? So, uh, in this game, well, actually, is there is there punishments in games? Maybe not. Maybe just, well, if this was Japan, there'd be punishments. Games, and if you were winning, you could just kind of walk off with a little, little prize. But in this game, you are going to have a, a reward and a punishment. All right. So I got to do it to you. So here's the punishment. If you get even one of these katas wrong, you have to buy one of my courses on Udemy at full price. And if you get all eight of the little short pieces of Embusen, then you get to go to Udemy and order at least one of my uh, courses while they're on special. See? So there's a price and there's a consequence, all right? So, so uh, now listen, if you are, um, if, you, if the movement looks just a little bit different than what you're used to, um, it, it do still doesn't count. You should still be able to recognize this embosin. And you can't fast forward and cheat, and you can't uh, go back and watch. You got to uh, uh, guess it immediately after I'm done. All right. So, oh, and I'm going to give you the answers at the end. All right. So don't worry. Let's see. Here is the first kata. And not kata, but the embusen. And again, I'm just doing a small part of it. Let's see if you can guess. All right. Here we go.
Not too bad. Anybody guess that kata from just that footwork? All right. Now, if you're still watching this video and you are not an Ishinru stylist and uh, uh, you're just watching this video because you find it entertaining, thank you so much. And I want you to understand that when you see a karateka using uh, these uh, uh, footwork, they are in a position of power where they can strike with power uh, or they can shift and move and change directions. They may be throwing the opponent with the particular position or uh, entering or escaping uh, the opponent or even maybe a takedown depending on the uh, embusen uh, of the kata. All right, here's the next kata. See if you can guess it. I think that was an easy one. I think a lot of people got that. Now, if you don't know all the kata, you're not going to know all the embassy. So I'll give you some slack on that. Um, uh, so just do the ones you know, but maybe if you pay attention to the dojo, you might see some movements you recognize. But I'll give you some slack, but remember the rules. You got to get it immediately after I'm done, all right? So the next one, number three, here we go. It's gonna start from here. That was a little harder, right? Somebody got it. All right, number four. There's eight kata. And this is the fourth uh, embassy out of order. And we're trying to see if these Ishinru people out here uh, can guess and figure out which kata I'm doing. All right, here we go. A little sneaky clue with that one, but I think uh, some folks, some some folks got that. Okay, the next kata embassy. Notice I'm not using my hands; it's just the footwork. Here we go. Okay. Next, Embusen. You got it. You got it. All right. Number seven of the game. Starts like this. Okay, and the last one. Now, remember the rules. If you got them all right, you can go to Udemy and get one of my courses while they're on, on special. Just check all the time. They're, I'm, I'm not kidding. They, they put them on special all the time. But if you got one of them wrong, then you have to go to Udemy and buy them while they're at full price. All right? So here are the answers. The first embassy was from the kata wan su.
Okay. Now, those folks that don't know Ishinru or have nothing, no idea about karate, if you go back and watch uh, the beginning of the video, you'll see that footwork should match what I just did. All right, the second kata was Seisan. Okay. The third kata was chinto. The fourth kata, Sanchin. Notice Sanchin starts with the left, uh, the right foot forward. Seisan starts with the left foot forward. So Sanchin, Number five. Let's see who got this one. You guessed it, you upper ranks. Sun Tzu. Number six. The six kata embassy that I showed you. Kusanku. Number seven was Nai Hanchi. Right there at the end. And the last kata was, let's see, what kata have I not done? What's left out? I'll let you, give you a second to think. A little bonus. What did I not do yet? Say Uchin. Started here. All right, there was your answers. Now, you remember your consequence and reward. You gotta go to Udemy. And if you got them all right, you get to go to Udemy and buy one of my courses while they're at half price or on special. Who knows what they do, but they're always on some kind of special. But if you got one of them wrong, you gotta go to Udemy and you gotta buy them while they're at full price, okay? I'm sorry, but you know, that's the, that's the rules of the game. All right, thank you so much. I hope you had a good time. If you are not a karate person uh, or even an initiative person, you watch this whole video. I thank you so much. And if you are an initiative person and you watch this video and you had a good time, I'm glad you did. All right, take care. Y'all have a great uh, evening, and we'll see you in the next video. Domo, arigato, gozaimashita.